It'd be smelly, wouldn't mm. it? Oof. Now, permit us a little bit of self-indulgence. It was the Television and Radio Industries Club Awards yesterday, <laughs> better known as the Tricks, and guess who picked up an award? Who? 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 Bill! No, really? <laughs> Uh, he won the Newscaster Reporter Award and I was the one to break the news to him. One other thing. <laughs> Enough of that. Carol, good morning and congratulations. Well, to thank you. you. No, and I'd really well. like to thank Carol particularly <laughs> because she's played an absolutely crucial part. Well, I'll tell you why. Because she made it sure it was warm for when you were standing out in the cold through the election. Do you remember? Oh, yes, you oh, did. That was what well, it was all about. You. Full credit for everything. Yes. <laughs> Congratulations, <laughs> seriously, Billy. Thank News you. on credit card fraud. Under 10 minutes time, he's going to be joining us with that. Time for sport. Direction to take them off display and put them in plain paper if that's what's being suggested. In less than a week's time, tickets for the 2012 Olympic Games will at last go on sale. If you're lucky enough to get hold of some tickets, though, how do you find somewhere to stay without breaking the bank? In a moment, the Independence Travel editor Simon Calder is going to be joining us and sharing his tips. First, though, let's hear from one family who are in Newark and they're all desperate to get tickets. Let's go to Simon now. And there's another big retailer which is announcing results today. It's Waitrose. Yes, it? part of the John Lewis partnership, which, of course, also has done... We've all heard about the job losses and the benefit cuts. There is another victim of these frugal times. It affects everyone, and it is... Public toilets. Mm -hmm. Conveniences, we should say. Should Shouldn't say. Yes. Uh, scores of them could be panned as councils try to save money. Breakfast Richard Westcott is in Loughborough. The old thing, spending a penny. One old pence, which is what you had to pay, I think you mentioned, in 1850. Simon's calculated. One old pence after inflation for 150 years at 3% a year, roughly. Thank you. <laughs> Learning every, every single, single day. day. <laughs> yes, there's a full schedule of all the events.